All right, everyone, welcome back. So this is going to be the final session for the room three at the Multicon Conference 2022. And um, this time around, we'll be having Matthias Reich, who will be speaking to us. But before I bring Matthias up to start his presentation, I would like to quickly introduce Matthias. Okay, Matthias offers an online business duplicator.de, that is the website and its business. Is an all-in-one solution for who wants to improve their business with online marketing and for those that like to use mobile tech and wordpress interesting okay all right he has online marketing experience for more than 10 years and i've been self-employed since 1999 with different it companies so uh matthias will be talking to us about multi one command install script for non-technician. I think this is a very interesting topic because yeah. a lot of people have been asking, how do I install Matic? I'm not a technical person. Or oh, my server, my days, how do I go about installing Matic? So I, I believe this session will be breaking that down and it's going to be telling us more about how a non-technical person can be able to install Matic in just one single script. All right, Matthias, over to you. Yes, fine, thanks. <laughs> Thank you for the introduction. Um, I do it maybe a little bit yes now it's better um yeah um you already talked a little bit what i'm planning to present you um for the background um i have a, a technical background but but i'm also a marketing person but that means i'm not a programmer i'm i know a lot of linux but i wouldn't say i'm an expert <laughs> for example and all the time when i'm talking with with persons from the marketing or from small startups, um, when I'm telling them about Mautic, they say, hey, can I have it? And where can I get it? And all the things. And of course, I'm offering services, including Mautic, but from um, for a lot of people, they already have their WordPress website or their, their shop and all the thing. The only thing they are missing is, is a Mautic installation. And when I'm looking in the Mautic forum, a lot of people have problems, for example, with cron jobs or with different things and most of these problems i think they come from a modic installation which is not really good or is uh, which which is on shared hosting systems and so on and so i thought about uh, what can i give back to the modic community because of course i'm i'm also uh, earning money with modic so i thought what can i give back to the people and so i decided to create um, a really easy script um, which you can use for install um, a, 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 a optimized and a, a very fast Mautic installation. And I also, um, today I will show you the, a quick yeah, walkthrough through this process, but I also recorded um, some small videos and um, I give you the URL about the videos, means, means um, if my explanation today is is too fast or is not too, de um, not too, if if something is too, ex, um, how can, can I explain it? Yeah, okay, when it's too complicated in my demonstration, you can have a look at my videos and then you can repeat the thing step for step. And of course, um, you also can send me an email if, it's, if it does not work. But I think I talked enough. I switch um, to my small, um, not presentation, my mind map because most infos I have there and I switch off my webcam so that it's better okay now you see here um, the steps we will go today um, I already talked about the step-for-step the, the -step videos if you want you can um, you can write down or you can um, see, see the URL online business duplicator slash modic and then we will come on this website I haven't <laughs> inserted all the videos yet, but um, all the videos will be added today or tomorrow. Um, and you see here, a lot of videos are step for step, what you need to do. But today it's not, we, we, are, we will not look at the videos. Instead, I will explain you a little bit um, about my script and what's normally the problem. For example, um, I will show you, if you if you never have installed Modic, 
then I will show you, for example, a, a very good modic installation tutorial. But the problem is, I scroll a little bit down, you see, um, you scroll down, down, down until the technical things begin. Here, here, for example, if you never, if you never um, installed a server or something like this, um, here they also write, you have to choose between this and this means there are all already um, um, things you need to install first if, until you can follow here the installation. Here you see step one, you need to enter these commands. It means um, normally you need to get a program where you have to copy and paste all these commands. First this and all this, and it goes down and down and down. All these commands you need to copy. Only a little bit down, for example, here, you need to copy all the things, all the text, and here you need to enter your own Mautic domain name. And this, for example, you need to do in an in a editor on your small server. And if you never have done this, this small thing could be already a, a no-go or, or a, a thing where you, where you stop to installate it. And means it's for a marketing person or somebody who, who, who don't know how to use Linux, it's too complicated. You see, it goes on and on and on and on. But let's stop this. Let's switch back to my presentation because um, all these things you can forget. You only need one command. You will see it later here. You only need to enter this command and, and all these steps you see here Will, do, will be done by my script, but step for step. <laughs> First, um, we need to do some preparing. For example, um, um, you need a small um, VPS server. A VPS server means a virtual private server. It's a, it's a small yeah, computer, which is hosted in a professional, professional um, data center. For example, you can use my URL here. Um, and I show it to you, then you can look it. Whoops, sorry, I have to copy it. Okay, for example, if you visit this URL, yeah. No, where is it? Yes, okay, I have to switch, sorry, I have to switch to, uh, to English. It's, it's, a, it's a German provider, but say support here, let's switch to English. Yeah. Okay. Here you see for about um, five euro means about when I switch to to US dollar. Save. It's about seven US dollar. You get a small uh, cloud computer which is completely empty with with um, with eight gigabyte of RAM and this small um, VPS is normally enough for a Mordic with some 10,000 addresses. Means if you're not a really big company with some 100,000 um, addresses, normally this is completely enough. Of course, you can upgrade later, but normally this is enough. So means if you want to install your own Mordic, you just, for example, select here this offer. Then you go a little bit down. For example, if you're living not in the in the European Union, for example, you live somewhere in the United States, I recommend to choose a, um, a data center near your state, or if you're living in Asia and your, um, your, your customers are also from Asia, just you, um, select a region you like, okay? Then you go down, and normally here, this is selected, this is a storage type, means um, your modic, um, modic files and database and so on will be saved on a hard disk. And there are two types of hard disks, the SSD, and here see the NVMe. And I recommend to use this because this is much more faster than this. And what we want is a fast modic, so <laughs> just select this. Then go a little bit down. And here this image is, um, Images means the operating system of the small computer. And my one-click installation script, it uses um, a Linux operating system 
and it's a Ubuntu Linux in version 2004. So just here keeps the 24 and then you go a little bit down. And here they ask you about the password for your server. You can click here, generate a new password. And this password we will need later to log in into our small server. Of course, you also um, always can change it later, but um, if you if you order the VPS in your login details, the root password will be also included. Okay, so everything else is enough, and then you go next, and here, of course, you have to enter your contact details. So and you have to uh, choose a payment method, and then normally within one or two hours you get your login credentials for your small server. And after this is done, this was a step three, uh, we need to install a small uh, program um, which is used to connect to our small server via SSH. So it's, I think I, um, let's copy it. Oops, sorry. It's a free program. As a good thing is, um, the program is. Um, if I scroll, uh, no, I don't want to sign in here. It's it's a free program um, and it's available for macOS, Windows, and Linux. And I think this is very good because the the software looks always um, the same. So, if you are a Windows user, you will download the Windows version and, and install it. I already did this and I will show you how the program looks. One moment. I switch to the program. Um, I think that's so small. Let's look. Yeah, okay. You see, this is a program, the terminal or the terminus program. And normally, you all only have to add a new host. It looks like this here. You have to enter the IP address of your server. Um, the IP address you get from from the um, from the provider where you order the VPS, and a little bit down, you have to enter your username. It's always root, and the password you created or you will find in in the, your login details. And after this is finished, you can do a double click, and then um, you are connected with the server. It looks like this. I can clear the display and now all everything you're typing here we're doing it on the server in the from um, on the server platform and here we also will enter later the command to install Mortic. So if we look at our um, to-do list here this is also done and now is only one thing missing what we need to do means um, for example, if you if you um, if the domain name of your normal website is Max Huber GmbH or or this is the domain name of your website, we need to create a subdomain um, for Mordic. I recommend to to use only the a subdomain like m dot and send the domain name of your company. And what we need to do is. Um, we need to set up a DNS A entry. It means we have, um, um, how can I explain it? Um, you have your domain at your web hosting provider. I don't know it's one and one or GoDaddy or what, what else you are using. And you have to log into your domain web hosting um, service. And there will be a, a menu item where you, you can set up DNS entries. It's from provider to, to providers, I call it a little bit different, but it's always DNS. And there you will find um, a point where you can add a DNS A entry. And with the DNS A entry, you can say, okay, I want to set up a, a subdomain called m.maxhubergmbh. And this, this subdomain should point at the IP address 123.123. And this IP address, is the IP address um, you get from your VPS provider. For example, something like this, yeah? And in your 
in your DNS configuration, you have to input this. And um, to, to check if you did it right, we go back to the terminal program. Let's go here, for example. And there is a is an easy command to look if everything is working. For example, I can, um, it's called ping. And you, for example, for my, for my demonstration, I have set up a small, it's called, let's um, wait, I have to copy it. Yeah. It's called here Mordic Demo 02 dot online business duplicator. And if I hit the return, you will see the answer here. And this is my IP address I'm using for this VPS. And for example, um, if I enter a subdomain which does not exist, for example, Mordic, mm -hmm, yeah, and I fire it, then you will see, okay, service. Um, um, name or service not known. If you get this answer, um, there's something not working with your DNS setup. But if you get um, if you get a message like this one here with answering, 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 everything is ready, and we can start with our Mautic installation. And the Mautic installation for itself is very easy. Um, I have only one command. Here you see it. You can copy it and then we go back to our terminal program. Here, right? Where is my mouse? And then I clear the desktop. And now I only have to, to copy and paste the command here. Let's look so. And then you hit the return. And now this is my small script, and the script asks me um, what what subdomain I want to use for my Mautic installation. And here, of course, I'm using the um, subdomain where I have set up my DNS A record. In my example, I use the Mautic, oops, sorry, the Mautic demo 02. All right, I do it again. That's a, no. Mautic demo 02, I hit return, and then the script asks me, um, which email address do you want to use for, for sending email? Then you also type in your email address and send your first name here. It's Matthias Reich. And then if you want, you can add um, another email address or the same email address. If you enter email address here, um, I will send you updates via email about my script. Um, if, if I have... Um, improved something or if there are some new videos, if you want, you can add your email here. Okay, and then we are ready for installation. And now we have, um, in Germany, we have uh, 1690 or um, 20 nearly. And now I fire up my command and you see now um, the, the, the server is working and my script in the background is doing everything we, we, are, we need for Mordic. And after the script is finished, we have a working Mautic installation with, with cron jobs, with databases ready. Um, and, and also we have, um, I can go back here when you see it, wait, sorry. Here. I also, uh, also installed a firewall for security means um, so your small Mautic machine is only reachable um, with protocols you really need, for example, SSH to connect and HTTPS, um, so that the Mordic web interface is reachable. And of course, um, I also installed a software which is blocking IP addresses, which try to log into your server with the wrong password because um, directly after you um, after you uh, install a new server, there are a lot of script kitties and, and persons which try to log into your server. And if you have um, a weak, weak password or if, if you're not blocking the login requests, um, then you can get a problem that somebody is able to, um, to, to get your password if it's really weak and if he is able to log in um, 
as, as, um, as much as he wants. And in, in this case, if somebody is logging in um, more than five times with a wrong password, um, his IP address will blocked for one day. So say um, he, he can't do a retry, um, um, a retry to log in, let's end Okay. And also we look, still a script is nearly ready. We have to wait one or some seconds. And um, during this, my script all, all, um, also does um, automatic backup of Modic, means um, the script does a backup each night. Um, it backups the Modic files and also backups the Modic database. And from time to time, um, this is very good because, um, um, because for example, if if, if you're um, if you're up, um, installing plugins or for, uh, or you are doing a Modic update, and if you have a problem with your installation and your Modic does not work, <laughs> then you can uh, restore your backup from, for example, from your from last um, last night or from a week ago. And my small backup script it keeps normally uh, at mi minimum for seven days the backups, and then it deletes the oldest backups. So um, you're always safe with your Mordic installation. And now here you see um, Mordic installation is finished. Um, you see a password and a username, which is already all um, directly generated. And now I, let's see, um, where is my, where is my, yeah, I log in. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's a bit, a little bit too um, big for my monitor, for my small thing. And then I type in, copy in the password and the username. Here it's in German because my browser is in German. But here, um, sorry, if I log in, it's already installed, and you see it's. Um, Everything is working. You don't need to select anything. You can directly start using um, Modic. And in my opinion, um, it's of course you have to do some step and a little bit some technical things you have to do. But it's much more easier than uh, to follow a complex tutorial. And um, and of course you also can um, download the backups, um, which the script is doing each night and all these things is as is optional things um sorry the optional things i will i will put say at um, in small videos here on the website on the url so means um if you're now thinking hmm, perhaps i should try the script of matthias then you can go to the url and you can have a look at the videos here you see for every step I already did a video with some more explanation. And after this, normally you um, should have a modic installation, which is working. And I think it's a good way to, to give modic um, a chance to, to test it. And of course, you can really use it at a production um, for production cases like your company or what else you want to do. Okay. I think uh, the most things I explained, and now um, perhaps there are some questions. Um, if yes, just type them in into your in the, into the chat, and then I will try to answer it. So let's activate my webcam again, and I think here I. I will copy my email address in the chat. So if you want to reach me, just send me an email. And yeah, wait, I also <laughs> copy in my Mautic URL. Yeah. Perhaps you give me one or two more days because currently I have not uploaded all my Mautic videos yet <laughs> because I had not enough time to do it. But um, you can. Do a bookmark here at the, at the page from onlinebusinessduplicator.de slash modic and in one or two days you will have much more videos and perhaps you give the script a try and 
perhaps you also have some ideas how I can improve it or um, as this is still in, in German because I already did the presentation in German today. So, okay, I'm ready for questions. If there are, uh, if there are some questions, just tell me. Okay. <laughs> that was really nice, Matthias. That yeah. was really, really nice. And um, I, I really like the concept and um, I like the idea you took it from a very basic level, trying to know how to buy your VPS, how to use the um, tam Tamos to be able to SSH into your VPS mm. and then they to now use the script. All right, that was really, really a very good one. So um, I have a, I have two questions personally that I would like to ask you, but I think Robin is already asking one of those questions. Okay. And, yeah. um, so Robin is asking, um, although I'm not so sure if this has to do with Docker, but I know it uh, it has to do with the composer. So from Multi Five, it will be it will be uh, from from Multi Five that will be out in September. You mm -hmm. need to have composer to install multi is that figure out into this uh, currently not because um normally uh, in my opinion i wait until um a new multi version is i think two weeks old because in <laughs> uh, a new version from time to time has some problems at the beginning but um i will update the script and will optimize it and if if the best way to install modic later is docker or composer i will update it and The, 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 the principle will be the same. So in my opinion, um, I want to offer a re really easy script, um, and um, you can use the URL. Or if you if you have a look at the more, at the website, the online business duplicator Modic, I will update the script. And then, if you're not a technical person, I normally don't care what's what's of of it if it's called Docker or if it's called uh, VPS. Normally, you don't care about this, but I understand for a technical person, um, for them it's interesting. And if if later if Docker is 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 better, um, then I change it to All right. Docker. Mm. All right. So apart from updating the script, let's talk about updating the Modic instance now. How do you figure that out here? Robins want to know and is asking. This is scared about updating this multi instance, but he wants to know if it is possible to be able to use the is if the script also supports updating your multi instance. Yes, yes. For instance, multi um, 4.3 was out recently, and then he wants to know if he will be able to update his multi instance without having to go through doing that manually himself. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure if I understood everything correct, but um, um, I have I already created a small script um, which does the update and be, as a semantic update. And before the uh, modic update is started, um, the script automatically does a backup first. Means if something with the backup is, or uh, if 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 you if you're doing the update and after some something with your modic installation looks weird or is is not working again you can be relaxed and you say okay then i uh, type in a command and i switch back to the to the uh, the version before and then it's no problem because um so and i'm thinking about um what's better to to configure the server so that semantic updates are installed automatically for example each week or each day but i'm not sure if this is the best case because in the history i saw For example, um, um, I, I can't recognize the version, but there was um, a version, um, and and after the Mautic update, if you directly have done the Mautic update, in my my server did not work again after this, and so I prefer to wait a little bit uh, until I do the Mautic updates because um, if you wait, for example, one or two weeks. Um, normally, the most problems with a new Mautic um, version um, are recognized in the Mautic forum, and the developers are fix, for example, the, the Mautic version or do a bug fix. And so, I would recommend normally to to wait a little bit and then do the manual as a Mautic updates manually. But I I created a script. It's a one also a one command script. You update. Uh, you type in 
dot slash Mautic update dot sh and 20 seconds later Mautic is uh, is has a newest version it's it's very easy i also will record a video for this so i think everybody <laughs> can do it yeah. okay i have one question i would like to ask you uh, um since we are talking about open source I wouldn't know maybe the script if you have it maybe on GitHub where people can take yes. a look about yes, I will. If I'm old, and yeah. everything before they finally use it. And then maybe probably they might also want to contribute one or two lines. Yeah, yeah. As I, I, um, the script, um, I created the script, I think, three years, three months ago for, for a, a friend of mine. And and um, during some uh, in, before the Mautic conference, I thought, huh, perhaps this would be a good thing for the community. So I just had it on my own server, but I'm open to to upload it to GitHub, um, and then um, the people can contribute there and answer and comment and so on. Yes. All right. Okay. Perfect. 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 Yeah. That's really really great. Okay. So um, this is outside of the installation but let me ask you um since we discussed about this earlier is there an um email SNCP that you can recommend mm -hmm. an email provider to send yeah. emails that you can recommend mm, yes um, 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 um normally i recommend amazon ses as a simple email service it's called it's a it's a product of the amazon um yeah product family and it's it's very cheap. You can send ten thousand emails for one U.S. dollar. It means if, for example, you have um, five thousand email addresses in your database and you're sending four newsletters um, per month, means uh, twenty thousand email addresses. You will pay two U.S. dollar to to Amazon and five U.S. dollar to the VPS provider and. In, in Mautic, you know, you can um, import as many addresses as you want. And so um, and Amazon is, is working very good, but they also have, uh, in my opinion, really complicated <laughs> installing process, uh, what, what you need to do. But I already co um, recorded some videos about the Amazon SES setup process, all, again, for non-technical persons. So that somebody who want to use um, Amazon SES can have a look at the, these videos and set up it. But currently it's only in German, so I have to, <laughs> to update it in English. Then. But Amazon is really good and it's it's really good working, yeah. All right, so Matthias, it seems you are not leaving anytime soon. So I got a couple of other questions that are coming in. So Cornell is asking, have you ever considered providing your steps on as an add-on on digital ocean marketplace? Uh, currently not because <laughs> I haven't thought about this and um, um, I'm, I'm living here in Germany and so I, I normally prefer um, providers which which are in Europe about, um, because of the um, data security and so on. Uh, perhaps it's it's a good thing to have a look at digital ocean um, but I haven't decided. I don't know their product or their, how was it called, their, the template or what it was, yeah. But perhaps it's something, yeah. All right. So another one for Robin mm -hmm. is asking, how do you restore from me backup? Yeah. Um, of course, I also have um, a script. Um, and um, my backup script stores uh, the Mautic database and the Mautic files in, a, in, a, in, a, in, in, in two separate zip files. And of course, you can download the zip files to your personal computer if you if you're using a program like FileZilla, if you know it. And so you can download your complete Mautic to your local computer. And I, I also created a small um, command line where you just have to enter the uh, Mautic restore and each Mautic backup, backup gets, um, uh, how is it called, a time, um, how is it called, time, time, timestamp, yes, timestamp with, with date and time. And if you want to restore the database, for example, from three days ago in night, you just have to input um, the, the timestamp of the backup and send my small script. Um, it um, it uses the zip file and imports the Mordic database again. But I, I haven't recorded a video for this, but I also will 
do it all step for step. And then if you go on the website, you will see a small video how to restore a backup. Or I don't know. But if I may ask you, Matthias, don't you think sometimes backup files might be a very large files? Mm -hmm. um, um, so. um, in, in my script, um, um, I created a, a, how it's called, a retention. Retention, yes. It means um, the, the modic database is very small normally. But um, some the modic files are, I think, some, hun some 100 megabytes. And normally I'm doing um, one backup of the modic files per day. And I have to look at my script. And I think um, each hour I'm doing a backup of the modic database. And this is very small. And I configured the Mautic backup process so that it keeps, I think, seven, seven uh, day, the backup of seven days. And then the script deletes the oldest backup. So normally, uh, on the small 4PS, if you have 50 gigabytes, pff, this is enough for a lot of backups. So, and or you can, you can. It's also possible to change the backup script so that you keep, for example, 14 days or. Um, but it's not necessary normally. And for example, you, you can connect um, with a, um, FTP or SFTP program to the server. And there is one um, Mautic backup directory. And if you want, uh, you can download from time to time. Um, you can download the, um, the backup files to your local computer. And for example, if you say after three months, oh, for three months ago, I had something with my Mautic, I want to restore the version which is three months ago, then you can upload the backup files and use my backup, uh, my, my restore script to import it. So it's normally not a problem of the file size. Okay, all right. Thank you so much yep. for this matter. So a lot of people are already very interested in this. Mm -hmm. And uh, Robin is very happy. He said, okay. I'm waiting for the <laughs> to for this. And is excited about this. I'm also excited about how this is going to be helpful for okay. people who are trying to install multi for the first time. And yep. then um, I believe um, once you can be able to figure out the composer part, um, it's going to be a very, very wonderful one. And if you can also maybe open source it for other people mm -hmm. to contribute, that yep. may also fast track the composer um, part of it. And then mm -hmm. also you want to share it on the community forum so that um, people can always refer to it and yeah. then say, hey, I want to install Mautic, I'm finding it for the download. They say, have you check out this particular post from Matas, and then they can be able to yeah. use that as a building block to be able to start studying and using Mautic. All right, I, I also noticed that there are some other steps you didn't mention on your slide, the last two steps. Uh, I believe maybe because of time, you will skip them out um wait which did i not recommend uh, let's look again <laughs> what did i forget that's my my thing okay the last step what did you mean um rich let's look with my mouse something from this or yeah the the possible improvement the ah possible okay sorry here yeah, yes um um it's it's in in german what i'm what i thought is would also be um, a good thing is to automatically update the Linux um, updates. Means if, if for your Ubuntu there are some updates which need to install, um, I think I will update the script so that Linux updates will automatically also update it from time to time. And um, this means, this is in German, um, I thought about um, perhaps it's, it would be a good um, thing if if there, uh, if there, if my script installs a modic update, um, it would be good to get an email from the script, script so that you know um, the script just installed a new modic update, so that you can have a look at your uh, modic if everything is still working. Um, and okay, the so last thing is it's normally for a technical person. Um, you, normally, you know, it's not always the best to log in with the root user. Normally, it's better to use the SSH key. But in my opinion, it's not a no-go. It's, it's, you can improve it. But I, here I have the fail to ban. It means um, if somebody tries to log in with root um, three or four times with the wrong password, 
um, he gets banned for a complete day. So uh, password hacking is not possible with with this fail to ban installed normally. So I think it's it's also okay to log in this route, but perhaps I think um, about optimizing some things, but it's always a thing between what is good for a technical person, but a marketing person uh, could, yeah, for say, uh, if, it's, if, if it's getting too complicated, then I think it's better to have something which, uh, which is a little bit more easier, but which is better for the most, for the beginners or for the non-technical person, in my opinion. So I'm still thinking what I can optimize here and I'm open. Um, you, talk, um, you talked about Robin. Robin, you can um, send me an email. Um, for example, you, if something in my script is not completely clear or in my videos, just send me an email and then I have, um, we can talk and I have a look what I can improve or um, ah, perfect. Uh, email already sent. Yes. Because uh, one thing All I right. was, Okay. Go uh, on. Wait, let's stop here. Go on, Matthias. Uh, um, one thing I thought about with, um, is uh, would be perhaps also good. Um, if you're starting Numismatic and you get a, a completely clean Mautic installation without addresses, without emails, without campaigns, it's for testing it's in my opinion it's not so good if it's completely empty so perhaps it would be a good thing that you can uh, choose in the script um, please import demo data means some test test addresses some emails some com campaigns so um, if you use my script so that you already have some demo data in and then you can look um, through the menus you have some modic segments some campaigns and so you have a look at the Mautic installation and then when you say, okay, now I know how to how Mautic is a little bit working, then you restart a script without the demo data. I think this would be perhaps a good improvement for the script. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you so much for today and thank you so much for this um, wonderful session. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are, are here looking at oh i need to start using this this yeah. is what i start using to install more to okay and, yeah. um, it's, it's very very nice and very effective you know, mm -hmm. okay thank you so much for your time today and uh, that will be a wrap up for today on room three so um every other session happens in room one and two for the rest of today and thanks to everybody for attending with multi conference global 2022 i hope you'll be able to join the in-person conference that will be happening in november mm -hmm. there's no specific country yet but it's going to be an in-person event and it's going to happen in november um last year it was in um belgium hope this time around we don't know yet but it's going to be outside of europe so hope you should start preparing start looking out on the multi um if there are multi newsletter look out for the announcements and then start preparing ahead i would like to meet everyone uh, who has participated in multi global conference 2022 at our in-person event in november thank you again matters yeah, for the time. thank you everyone for staying and for listening to this and i'm thank you for being part of this community do enjoy the rest of your day and um, bye for now bye bye from germany <laughs>